last time we had lobster on the grill, drop the hook at Cranberry, Bartlett and Long Island. We are two crazies from South Africa, that's Frick and Pietru. We decided to chuck it all and we are now living and sailing full time on our new home, Sisu. Then it was a quick stop over at Swan Island, which by the way is a dry island. Can you believe it? No alcohol on the island. This is a very pretty place. There's some, oh, there's some seals on that little island over there. Huh. The big thing is why we want to move is the wind is coming from that direction. And as you can see, it is, it's damn cold as well. But um, we, need to, we need to find protection. So we are thinking of going behind these, there's, there's, there's a, hundreds of little islands here so maybe behind that island there and get some protection against this wind tonight is going is predicted to be around 13 knots so we need to find maybe a, just a better space our anchor is quite set quite deep so i'm not worried about dragging it's just it's going to get very unpleasant here these lobster boats stay are quite good Maneuvering between between all the the other lobster pots and then picking up their one. Check. Just like that. It's amazing how they can maneuver. So I must say our Starlink is working quite good. You you have to kind of like just accept the fact this is residential to start off. This is a residential with mobility activated so it's about 110 dollars a month and you have to accept the fact with this one that it's pointing now that way and if the tide turns it will then point that way and we will lose internet quite often so what i do then is i just put it in stow mode and switch it off and wait a while like five seconds and then switch it on again then it comes into search mode again and it will find new satellites and and then yeah we have connection again so you can get a maritime one the maritime one is ten thousand dollars then you get two of these but this is a small residential one that you get two business ones that is pretty big almost as big as a solar panel <laughs> so, and because there are two the moment you tack around it will actually be able to one will start looking and the other one will will have a different satellite line if you want to call it a, a satellite train because they go like this across the sky and maybe the other one is looking at another one like that so they synchronize so if you do move you will not lose internet but for us it's fine we can lose every now and internet it's still faster than any mobile So this morning there was eight boats or seven sailboats and there is no one here anymore. You can see the wind is pumping, so it's going up to 35. So that guy just dragged, so <laughs> that, that will be his second time that he will be resetting. The catamaran is drifting with his anchor, so he's like 
He's almost in half to with his anchor down. <laughs> oh, there they go. <laughs> scope, people, scope. Without scope. Watch my episode on anchor. <laughs> Two episodes on anchorage. How to anchor and what to look for. And these guys. Again. Good call. And the thing is, we at low tide now. So if they dragging now at low tide, then <laughs> not going to want to know what they're going to do at high tide, because this is like a three meter tide, uh, three meters higher at high tide. Those guys there, they were in front of us and they also reset it. So it looks like they're good for now. These guys, they started the engine, they're now into the wind. The bridle is up. Now if you look here, the highest gust that we received is 37 knots of wind. So it's quite, quite a lot. We are still good. But the Garmin is showing, I think it's taking the sensor from, from not from our sonar, it says 1.4 meters, but we actually 10 meters deep. If you look there. So this one is working on the RVX sensor, the sonar. So you can see we still at 7, when we anchored we were at 10. But it's all these stuff in the water that make that sensor malfunction. So we're not at 1.6, we're at 7 meters. So I thought I will go for a drone flight. crashed there in the trees <coughs> luckily I found it and luckily it's not repairable here it is so camera is <laughs> it's not in a working condition anymore I don't think I can glue that and then these arms. Oh, okay, they're not broken. Some broken props. It's okay, so it's just the camera. Hmm. The gimbal itself. It's going to be painful. And how do they say? Normally, if the drone is lost, you think, I don't mind the drone, but the footage. <laughs> okay, got the drone back. What do we say now? We've got the footage. But what about the drone? Yes, I come to hands. Um, and here is million lobster pots, rare. And all is, all is not as meters at mekaar uit. Per day keer weet ek nie so om precies hoe dier te kry. Is net crazy. And he's so bad for them. Check it all the clear the footers and all the verschillende kleren. So the rooi is boord aan iemand, and the rooi and wit boord aan iemand anders, and the geel is boord aan iemand anders. And he's not bad, and it's that boord to that. But he comes near good. Kijk, iemand wil zeker lobsters yet. He's al weer twee daar is daar is hele klompie. So ik heb al hier die route hier gevat. Check it voor ons te. Is it like a bit in zoom and see the like a dog? That is absolutely crazy. So we've just dropped anchor in this cute little 
town called Stonington. This looks like a huge city compared to where we've been the last couple of days. We've been to tiny little fishing villages which was so quaint and cute. So this is a lot of activity. So this butte came and anchored just behind us. Oh man, that would be so cool to go for a beach ride or one of those just for the day. See how they work. Absolutely amazing. this Stone Stonington in Maine they even have an opera house so I don't know if it's a real opera house or is it just all the opera house but we'll take a walk by and see. Should be quite interested to see what shows they put up. And that one's obviously going out to harvest now. And mommy and the kid is helping. <laughs> These things have so big engines. The <laughs> piece over there. Now it's finding out what is what. Maybe finding a lunch place and then the supermarket. I think supermarket is over there. We had the best pizza ever at Stonecutter's Kitchen, which we shared with this interesting bloke we met at the bar. He has problems with his legs and travels all over Maine on this pedal assist trunk. Fully kitted with a super awesome sound system, navigation and a very loud router. Check this little private dock. It's a little dock of just one table and an awesome view. Right there is Sisu. This is gorgeous. 1907. Wow. Look at the floors. It was first a blacksmith. And then you bought it. No, I inherited it from my aunt. Okay. She bought it. It went from being a blacksmith shop to a gas station. A gas station? When they built the bridge, the horses stopped, the cars came. It was a gas station. Then it became a... Uh... Could you not photograph the art? Definitely in a lobster town. Looks like a little, little town, very small little town. There's even a school. <laughs> and look at this little places here to sit and watch this. Oh, sunset is that side. Not sure what that chair is doing. Just maybe for the shade in the winter. For us, it's still winter. <laughs> so we. Just met now somewhere over there with the highest mast. That's another Leopard 45. We just had now dinner with them and a couple of drinks. Also have a YouTube channel. I think we will have the name somewhere here, I think. <laughs> yeah, true. And this is how it looks here in Stonington. 
pretty beautiful little town. That's all for now guys. Thank you, thank you, thank you for popping in. And a huge shout out to all our Patreons for their awesome support. It's really appreciated. We'll see you next week. Mm -hmm.